We're underneath the hood of our 1967 Plymouth Barracuda. Um, started life as a small block. It's a small block at this point. I don't know the configuration. It could be a 318, it could be a 340, it could be a 360. I really don't know. It does have the high performance uh, exhaust manifold system on it. it does have an Edelbrock aluminum intake manifold. Holly vacuum secondary carburetor, probably a 600. New alternator does have power steering. It has power brakes, new vacuum booster, and also a new uh, two-stage uh, master cylinder with it. New battery, Presto Light distributor, uh, set of brand spanking new bright yellow high silicone plug wires with it. New fuel filter on it. 24-inch standard Mopar radiator, which did a good job of cooling these uh, small block motors for them. Conventional fan. Uh, engine compartment is very clean. It does have an Edelbrock uh, aluminum uh, capped uh, air cleaner on it. <clears throat> also a set of Edelbrock aluminum valve pan covers with it. Finned aluminum on top also. Very nice addition the way it shows with the black and the brushed aluminum. Real nice setup. Uh, overflow bottle for the uh, radiator. Nice engine compartment. It's not rotted out or anything anywhere. It's in great condition. It's painted flat black underneath the hood everywhere, including underneath the hood. Uh, fender wells, uh, radiator core support, which appears to be original. It doesn't appear to have been distressed through the years for any reason. It's a nice engine compartment, small block. We're going to assume that it's a 318, maybe a 340. We really don't know, but I'm going to call it a 318 for uh, intents and purposes at this point. A brand new aluminum water pump on it also. The uh, heater hoses are connected to this particular vehicle. Nice clean compartment. Let's go around the outside and see what we can find for you. Hi, you're at Hankster's in Daytona Beach, Florida. And today our special guest is a 1967 Plymouth Barracuda. Um, the car is not correct in any way. It looks like it's a Formula S car. It is not. We're going to go over this vehicle, show you everything that we can see at this point. I've never really uh, driven it yet, haven't done anything with it. We're going to do that together at this point now. Um, hopefully we can find any deficiencies and point them out to you. Uh, anything that we can fix here in-house, we will, uh, prior to the delivery of the car, obviously. And anything that uh, we somehow miss we'll try to bring back at a later point and show you or we'll fix it so that you don't even have to know it's there. Blacked out hood obviously. Um, some patina on the chrome uh, slats on this vehicle on the raised portion, the Formula S type hood. Uh, you wouldn't replace them but there is some patina. It does show some age, does show some wear. The hood appears to be a new hood. The tin is all nice and smooth and the fitment's gorgeous. You can see the car's never been in any trouble. Nice fitment to it. Has the original Barracuda with our fish Barracuda uh, designation on it. Nice look with the flat black hood and uh, the red surround. It, it gives it a nice sporty look to it. Kind of like the uh, uh, A12 cars did with the black hood and everything else the color of the car. Grill area. Plastic is really nice. Parking lights are nice. It's original too. It's not been replaced. It's very nice. The aluminum uh, uh, trim around the uh, grills is also nice. It's not all beaten up or dented up. I really don't see anything. A little tiny bit of patina here and there, but that's it, just from age. Again, both grills are just as nice as you'd ever want. No pieces broken out. Really a great looking uh, front end of the car. Bumper fitment. Again, very, very nice on the car. Chrome on the bumpers, just as nice as you'd ever want to find. Kind of hard to get under here, but the uh, valance on the front, underneath the front bumper, doesn't show any pull marks or dents or any distress whatsoever. It's a nice front end of the car. It's a, it's a very attractive car. These cars uh, really picked up a lot of popularity. Uh, 67, 68, and 69s. It seems like we can't keep them here. As soon as we get one, they leave. Now this one is not a Formula S car, but it gives the appearance of being a Formula S car. And um, that's the important thing. And plus it's a great color too, red. So let's go down the side, see what it looks like around the rest of this car. 
Okay, driver's side of our red barracuda. Barracuda with our fish on the front here. Uh, wheel lip molding, and a little tiny bit of a mark there, not much of anything. You won't see it, it's the, I just felt it with my thingy. Fit of the hood, the collar area to the fender is just as nice as you would ever find. Very, very nice. Fender to door fitment the same way, really great, really great. Correct wiper arms, incorrect blades, they're a brand new set of Amco blades on them. Little tiny mark right here, not much of anything. Other than that, the rest of the trim is nice. Real nice originality with it. There's a little bit of a fading to the top of the dashboard, just sun fade through age. Uh, but the base of the windshield where it conforms with the top of the dashboard, again, there's some fading in that area, but originality. And it's uh, not been replaced. It doesn't need to be. Uh, it doesn't really even need to be cleaned. It has a lot of clean originality to it. Uh, wouldn't mess with it. Standard glass windshield in it. Chrome around the uh, wing area. Really nice. Rubber appears to be original and it's still resilient. Let's see if this is a remote adjust mirror, driver's side remote adjust mirror. Let's go down the side here. Window wipes are original and they're still very acceptable. They're very nice. The, the uh, fuzzy part is real strong yet on it. The uh, stainless part that conforms with the uh, top of the door is real nice also. Drift rail, no marks, no dents, no imperfections whatsoever on the roof. There's just none. Uh, no dents, no marks, no waviness or anything from somebody putting weight on it through the years. Trim around the top of the doors and the quarter panel, really, really, really nice. Original door handles, a little bit of the chrome is worn off where it transitions onto the uh, body. If you want to replace it, it's a very inexpensive replacement. It does have originality. There's no reason to. It still functions as it should, but it does have a little bit of wear through the chrome. The chrome's just worn off somewhat. Door to the quarter panel. Very, very nice. Very acceptable. Not perfect, but very acceptable. Trim around our huge back window which the back window appears to be tinted. I can't really, really tell, but it appears a little darker than the uh, windshield. Uh, it, it, it's a call. I'm going to say that it's a, it does have a tinted back window. It may or may not. Wheel lip molding. Again, really, really nice. Fast fuel gas cap. Plymouth uh, Dodge trademark there. Fenders are nice and sharp on it. Nice stripe down the side of it. Goodyear Eagle GT tires, Eagle ST tires, excuse me. And um, Krager SS wheels, 14 inch. Gives it a, light, a lot of pop, just a lot of look to it. You know, the big solid white letter tires, era correct for 60s, late 60s, early 70s. And um, Prager SS wheels, a wheel that you would have probably put on this car in 1967 had you purchased the car new. Great looking car so far. Let's see what's on the back, but it's a straight car. It's really, really nice. Door fits very well. A little tiny bit of overhang here on the door. It could be adjusted in just a hair. We'll probably do that. It's, it's all that I can find on the whole side of this car, but uh, let's see what's on the back. Okay, around the tail section of our 67 Barracuda. Rear deck is just like the hood. It could not fit any better. Paint on this vehicle is not show quality, it's driver quality. It is not a foot deep, it is not some big base coat, clear coat, $8,000 paint job. It's comparable to what would have been laid on here in 67 by uh, Chrysler, actually better than what it would have been new. Paint is actually very nice on the car. Real straight, I haven't found any dings or chips or anything else yet on it. Top part of the, uh, again, a little bit of patina on this trim. Here they've already gone and painted it black. I think probably because this did have some 
imperfections in it, so they've gone and painted it flat black. Probably, uh, and actually, this isn't that bad. I, I really wouldn't mess with it. I'd leave it alone. Flat black through the center the way it should be here. The aluminum's real nice on the back. Barracuda designation. Pan between the uh, tail section of the uh, trunk and uh, the bumper, which does have bumperettes on it also. A couple of chrome turndowns on it. Back valance is very nice. Uh, nice clear lenses on the uh, backup lights themselves. Uh, chrome on the bumper, very, very nice. Bumper fitment, very, very nice on the car. Nice looking car in the back. I really can't see anything that's, uh, that's really messed up. A uh, couple little imperfections, you know, that I pointed out here, but other than that, I mean, I, that's it. The car is about as nice a one as you'd ever want to find. Let's try the uh, passenger side and see what we come up with. Okay, passenger side of our Bacaruda. Nice sharp tin. Trim around the back window, same as the other side. I had a little bit of a, it looks like somebody gave it a little pop there with their knuckle. Other than that, that's, that's about the only mark I can see on it. You really got to catch it in the right light to see it. Fender lip molding. Just like the other uh, two, just as nice as you'd ever want to find. Of course, the roof on this side looks the same as the other side. No marks, no nothing. There are a couple of, whenever this is apparently being installed, somebody Hit on it a couple of times too hard with the rubber hammer. Again, you're not going to see it in the video. You're probably not even going to see it in the pictures, but it is there. If you catch it in the right light, you can see a little bit of a warble on the drip rail itself. Again, nothing to detract from the overall appeal of this vehicle. Absolutely not. Again, the white whiskers, still acceptable. Trim around this. Uh, wing area, which usually, these have a lot of patina on them, they have a lot of uh, uh, age, and this particular one does not. Little ding here on this piece too. Uh, the rest of the trim around this window is another little dingy here. Somebody got a little overzealous putting this trim back on after the repaint. Door. Now this door really fits the way it should, very, very nicely. That one we're going to pull in a tug, just a, just a smidge, but uh, this one does fit. Again, door handle, a little bit of wear on the chrome right here, thickness of my little finger starting to wear through. Door to front fender, very acceptable. Original equipment style um, antenna, wrong mast, it should not be black. Although it looks fine with the car, we're not going to change it. But normally from uh, Mopar, these would be silver. Again, the striping on this car really adds a lot of pop to it. A little bit of a something there. I don't know what the heck it is. Something almost like it caught it there or something. I think we can hit that with a hammer one time. It'll go right back into place. Again, Barracuda designation. We're back where we started. Um, hood to cowl to fender to door. Really nice fitment on this car. These Kragers really make this thing jump out at you, especially with these solid white letter Goodyears on it. Gives it a lot of uh, lot of character. Um, this car is not a high end car, and we're not going to ask fifty thousand or forty thousand or even thirty thousand for the car. It's going to be very nominally priced. It'll get you into the muscle car uh, market. Uh, relatively inexpensive. Nobody's going to know that it's not a Formula S. I'm not telling if you don't, unless they start checking serial numbers, they're not going to know. We're going to do an interior presentation on the vehicle. Overall appearance, I didn't find any uh, places that needed repainted or touched up in any way. Uh, it's a nice straight looking car. Um, it, it's just a really nice nominally priced car. Uh, we encourage everyone to come down and see these cars. Airfare is inexpensive. A heck of a lot less than hiring an inspector to come and look at a car for you that's going to not give you the information you need anyway. This way you can come yourself, 
Feel the car, touch the car, drive it, look on it on the rack. You can see exactly what you're buying. We're not going to misrepresent something to you. We want to put everything on the table that we just went over. If there was anything there, you saw me pick out every little defect that I could at this point. Uh, we're going to put it up on the rack. We're going to do the same thing with the undercarriage. Um, this is a driver quality car. It's a good running car from what I understand. I haven't driven it yet. But um, it's a car that you can buy here at Hangsters and have a heck of a lot of fun with it. And it's a beautiful color combination. We're going to do the interior, see what we can find in there for you. Okay, we're in our 1967 Barracuda. Uh, interior of this car is very, very close to the exterior of this car. Um, it's in great overall condition. It is not perfect. Uh, it's good representation of a 67 uh, Formula S style Barracuda. Uh, mirror's nice and clear. There's no wear around it, you know, where there's fading onto the uh, mirror itself. Original uh, sun visors on, on the uh, vehicle. It has a newer headliner put in it, and it's done very nicely. The carpeting in the back and the carpeting everywhere through the car is new replacement. I'm sure it's not the original, uh, but it, it's new replacement, very good quality. Kick panels are the correct color, and they're still, uh, they're still intact. Uh, door panels and the uh, side panels are the original door panels and side panels yet. They're, they're very nice condition. Uh, rocker panel moldings are real nice on the vehicle. The um, back seat and the uh, front seats are reupholstered and done very, very well. Very high-end material that they used, and it's done absolutely the way it should be. Uh, the interior of this car is very exemplary. It's very, very nice interior. Seat belts in the back and seat belts up front also. Mine's here somewhere. There it is back here. But um, it does have seat belts throughout. Uh, console, how about this? The spring still works on the uh, center console. Chrome is nice on the console. Shifter on the console where it belongs. Sun Pro Tack. I'm just jumping all over the place here. Everything I'm looking at, everything I see, the dash is very nice. It has a little bit of fade to it, but it's resilient. It's, it's very nice uh, uh, dash pad on it yet. Original equipment style radio in it. It has original Mopar steering wheel and horn. There's a cover on it. I don't know why. Let's see. There's no cracks on top. And it's it matches the interior color of this car. They just put a fatter uh, uh, cover on it. There's a little stress crack there. Another one there, another one there. There's four of them. One, two, three, four. Very fine line. Maybe get a fingernail in it, but I doubt it. Horn ring's nice. It's not broken. A little tiny bit of patina on the side of the chrome, but originality again. Dash is really nice and clean. Uh, speedometer, it has the original factory gauge cluster in it. However, it does have a, a trio of uh, aftermarket gauges. Everything appears to be Sun Pro in this. It has a Sun SuperTac 2. It has a oil pressure, temp, and an amp gauge in it. There's another oil pressure gauge there. Uh, it, it, it's just a nice car. All the uh, chrome inside of it is very nice, very presentable. Uh, chrome around the mirror, all the uh, trim around the uh, Inside of the vehicle is as nice as you'd ever want to find. Does have seat belts all throughout the vehicle. I really can't see anything on the inside of this car that uh, would stop me from buying it. It's a it's a good looking car. It has a lot of originality yet to it. Seats have been redone. The paint is uh, driver quality on the outside. It's plus plus plus, and it's going to be a real plus whenever you take a look and see what you can buy. This really good looking. Uh, Formula S style CUDA for. You're going to like what you can pay for this thing. We're going to do the undercarriage. Okay, let's see what we got here. We have oil pressure. No problem. Temperature is coming up. Up to about 140 degrees now. The voltmeter is not working, however, the amp gauge in the dash is functioning. It is working. It is charging. The gas gauge is working. We got about a quarter of a tank. Uh, these two gauges are inoperable because we got oil pressure and temperature, both of which are down here now. 
uh, tachometer is working. It is working, no problem, the tack is working. It does have a vacuum boost gauge down here also that shows our uh, manifold vacuum. So, we got everything working there, let's see. We have an inoperable horn, it doesn't want to cooperate. So the horn's not working. We have a left turn signal working. We have a right turn signal working. We have a radio. Working. Woo, working. How about that? Okay, let's see here. Lights. We have wipers that are working. So, so far, the only thing we don't have is a horn. absolutely perfect. I mean, absolutely perfect. When we get off of this uh, rounded part of the road here, I'll let go of the steering wheel because I can feel that it just steers straight as an arrow. Okay, here. There, no hands on the wheel. Steer as straight as can be. Let's try braking no hands. Braking no hands. Sixty-seven Barracuda, nice bright red guy with uh, some black accents on it. Krager SS wheels and got a lot of look to it. But anyway, we're underneath it right now, so let's concentrate what's here. Uh, starting up front, somebody's added a really big, heavy-duty sway bar to this guy. It has a newer starter on it. It has drum brakes in the front. The tie rod ends look to be relatively new. Steering box, there's no leaks whatsoever on this engine, not that I can see. Um, the uh, pan, the bell housing area, and the engine. And there's a little tiny bit of seepage here on the back of the motor, not, not enough to even, not enough to cause a drip at this point. So we have two inch exhaust coming off the standard cast iron exhaust manifolds. The skirts on the uh, front uh, uh, wheel wells are real nice. No one's jacked it up on those which is common for guys to do for whatever reason. A couple little tiny marks from jacks through the years on the uh, subframes, which are really solid. This is, uh, wow, it's really solid. It doesn't appear to have anything uh, repaired or replaced on it at any point. It's all original floor pans in the front going up onto the firewall area. And again, this is, a, we're going to call it a 318. We don't know. It's a small block. It does have a four barrel and metal brock and high flow exhaust uh, 340 style manifolds on it but uh, we'll call it a 318 for the sake of discussion anyway. does have a 904 um, tranny in it, automatic. The cooling lines are still intact with it. Going forward to the radiator which is the Chrysler uh, correct radiator for it. All the linkage is real nice. Again there's no seepage whatsoever uh, the tail shaft or the uh, transmission pan. These pipes are very nice condition yet, yeah, two inch. Original fuel line coming up the passenger side, original brake lines on the uh, uh, driver's side. Floor pans in this vehicle do appear to be the original floor pans. Yep, they are. There's still original pinch welds on them where they go onto the rocker panels. 
and they are the original floor pans in this vehicle. I don't see where they've been replaced or repaired at any point of its life. Uh, real nice original parking brake uh, cable still intact. Uh, the whole way back to the uh, rear subframes, there's absolutely nothing to report. Everything is as it was in 1967 when this car was uh, produced by Chrysler Corporation. It's very, very nice uh, car underneath here. A lot of originality here, and that counts for a lot in the way the car was uh, used through the years, and it still can retain uh, its, its original body structure. So we got a real nice one here, a real nice original car. Let's see what's on the other half. Okay, our two inch pipes uh, transition into a set of standard style under chassis mufflers and it appears to be, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it inch and three quarter uh, tailpipes going out, two turn down at the very end. Uh, torque boxes are absolutely gorgeous on this vehicle. Uh, there's no uh, uh, deterioration, no uh, jack marks, no bends, no nothing on it. A couple little marks on the subframes here from jack stands through the years are possibly being jacked up. It does have a multi-leaf rear suspension. There's still curvature to the springs. Drum brakes in the back. Um, the front has a real heavy sway bar to it and so does the rear. This is added. This does not come from Chrysler but it is a uh, added sway bar. Someone has really concentrated on uh, enhancing the uh, handling characteristics to this particular vehicle. So it wasn't apparently put together as a drag racer, it was more for a nice handling, uh, solid uh, uh, vehicle. Uh, new shocks in the front, relatively new shocks in the rear. It has a standard, I would believe it's a 10 bolt, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's a 10 bolt uh, Spicer type uh, uh, rear uh, differential in it. Um, they use this same rear end through the Chrysler line, clean up into uh, like 73, 74 with the uh, 400s even. I believe they still use the same original rear end in it. So if it would sustain a 400 in a Mopar, I'm sure it's gonna, not going to have any problem with a 318. Uh, nice looking rear end. The um, drop downs into quarters are the original drop downs. Original well for the uh, um, spare tire in this car. Original gas tank also. Uh, really no dings or marks or eh, a little tiny one there you can hardly notice I shouldn't have even mentioned it really there wasn't enough to mention it's a real nice car underneath it's it's solid it, uh, uh, you can see the, the exhaust system is as new as you're ever going to find uh, new U-joints on the drive shaft uh, again no leaks uh, a lot of originality under here uh, floor pans everything on this car appears to be original for 1967 Subframes in the back as they transition out uh, and, and uh, support the uh, rear trunk pan, which is still the original also. You can see all the spot welds on it. This car is the nicest car you're ever going to find, especially for the price that uh, uh, we're going to post this thing for. you got a really nice looking uh, 67 uh, Barracuda Formula S style vehicle in a great color combination with a lot of appointments to it and a great interior. It's available here at Hankster's in Daytona Beach, Florida, and you should take a look at this car because it's neat.